tonight, GV gear, Olive spins out, Josh oh, gets lost, Josh. and the cameraman accidentally stops recording. What an idiot. So as you can probably hear from the rain, I'm not at my place. That's because I'm on holiday with the lonely Olive, which is Ooh. questionable. I've been questioning my sanity. I've nearly broken my phone. He's been snoring. Okay, it's, um, it's pretty bad. And I think he's going insane. I found I found some goggles in the drawer. Hello. <gasps> so why don't we do GV gear in real life? Hey up, welcome to Formula GV. In today's starting grid, we've got in first place the Lonely Ovlid with That's me. Goofy Arcart. In second, we have Josh Lone567 with Goofy Arcart. And now, with Olive struggling to start his car, we were ready to get on our way. Estos putos que solo andan chingándome. Mejor les parto su madre. Así que se las hice de pedo y ellos me tiraron una piedra y me rompieron las. Now you may be wondering. Why isn't this just GV racing? Why is it going on speed? Because Olive's car, for whatever reason, was substantially slower than mine. Or was it just skill? I'm not sure. But eventually, after a dollar faff, we got going. And within two laps, I'd already overtaken him. Las ventanas de mi casa, así que les grite. I would like to point out, we are absolutely flooring these. I know it looks slow, but honestly, while driving it, it felt fast. Probably because it was a rickety little plastic body kit. At least, I think. Was it fast for you, Olive? Huh? Go karts. What? Oh, go karts. Um, it felt a little bit fast, but quite. But maybe I felt like I just got scammed. Considering I got the fast car, yeah. <laughs> Now while these two look like absolute idiots on the track, we'll see who can get the fastest time. Starting with Olive here in the disgusting cars. And this is where the cameraman decided to accidentally not record. Uh, did that add on like five seconds to his time? And 43 seconds is the time for me to beat. Let's hope I floor it in my lap. That car is rubbish. <laughs> 
hermana Juas Juas. So, our carts were 10 seconds different in times. Interesting. <laughs> and Olive still struggled to control her. But then, I was getting close to overlapping. And it was at this point that I was too good of a driver. See, you can't see it, but just over here, there was like a traffic light that goes red and green. If it's green, it means that the race is all good. If it's red, it means that the race is ending. And I saw that it had turned red, and I was like, oh, we have to stop the carts. But little did I know that they had to set up like a little barrier so that we would go into the pits, which basically meant I gave Olive an entire half a lap. One more lap. One more lap, Josh. And with this information One more in my ears, I absolutely floored it for the final. to overlap him, but at least I won overall. <laughs>